H. Obviously, Cerqueda is much taller. Let's see if he's able to take advantage of that leg. He's actually a favorite, according to Team Mexico. Not by much. 6-2. Yeah, big difference right there when it comes to height. Let's see if Cerqueda is able to take advantage. And look, Samayo is all business. Both of them have long arms, it looks like. Yep. All righty. Are they going to stand and bang, or are we going to see some ground action? That's about to be seen. But first, let's go to Felipe de Maria. Ladies and gentlemen, this part is three rounds in the featherweight division. Señoras y señores, nuestro siguiente combate es a tres asaltos de cinco minutos en la categoría de peso pluma de Lux Fight League. Presentando primero, en la esquina blanca, un especialista en kickboxing. Marca profesional de cinco ganadas, dos perdidas. Una altura de un metro con 69 centímetros. Peso oficial, 144.5 libras. Presenting now, on the white corner, he's a kickboxer. Pro record of five wins, two losses. He stands, five feet, two inches tall. Official weight, 144.5 pounds. Fighting, straight out of Ciudad de México, his Isaac, el güero, Samayoa. Su oponente, al otro lado de la jaula, en la esquina negra, un especialista en lucha, marca perfecta de tres ganadas, cero perdidas, una altura de un metro con 78 centímetros, peso oficial, 145.7 libras. Presenting now, on the black corner, he's a wrestler, pro record of three wins, no losses. He stands, five feet, nine inches tall, official weight, 145.7 pounds. From Chaparral, Tolima, Mexico, fighting straight out of Chihuahua, Mexico, he's... Alejandro Noble, Cerquera. The third inside the cage, el tercero sobre la jaula, Gerardo Cruz. Peleadores. Gerardo Cruz will be directing this fight with his body cam. After a great start, the submission way by Solangel Vera. We are ready to go in the featherweight division. Yeah, Cerquera was doing wrestling shots when the uh, man was announcing his name, so I'm sure he's coming out here to grapple. Fires are ready, so here we go. Welcome back inside the black and gold cage alongside UFC veteran Spike Carlisle. I am Francisco X Rivera. Glad that you can join us on UFC Fight Pass tonight. We have a title bout in the 145 pounds, so this fight is very important to see. get more contenders in line. See if you can use that Sambo background to reverse this position. So Cerquera, the taller of the two fighters, looking to get this fight into the ground. Yeah, Samoya did a good job of getting double underhooks. That's a hard position to break. He's got a lot of, a lot of power here. Although Cerquera did a good job of putting his, him on the fence. Samayoa trying to defend there. Big knee right there to the midsection. The Colombian Cerquera trying to go for a leg right there. Unable to go, and now Samayoa uh -oh. going for the double leg. He has his hands locked, that's gonna be tough. Nice fight here for position. This is very grinding when you're against the cage working for this. It doesn't look like it, but this is a lot of work for both guys. Yeah, 100%. A lot of energy consumed. Let's see if Cerquera can get a takedown with his knot as he expected as Samayoa gets up quickly. Samayoa in the white trunks, very close to his corner. Led by UFC veteran Tito Rubio. Yeah, Samoya did a good job of not, not settling him, not letting him complete that takedown. It was nice of him to get back to his feet and keep fighting here. So Karen needs to try to get him off the fence or get his body in between, in between him and the fence. Two minutes have gone by and 
This has been nothing more than a chess match. And Samayoa tries to get a good position, and here we go. Down to the ground and right into half guard. So a good opportunity from the Mexican fighter to work from the top. Yep. Get no, up quickly. Knowing those Sambo guys, he's, he's not going to play in his guard anytime. <laughs> Samayoa, the Colombian, just trying to defend himself. Takes a knee right there to look below the belt. Nice. The referee lets it go. Big kick right there to the liver. Oh, yeah. But then Cerqueda slipped, and a good opportunity for Samayoa. Wow. Nice job by Samoya using uh, his strikes against the cage, mixing in the grappling and the striking very well here. Oh. Trying to go high with those knees right Ooh. there. Samayoa. Uh oh. Wow. And Serquera gets a takedown with Samayoa quickly getting up. Tries to slam his opponent. This is a nice scrambles here. Yeah, you mentioned it. Sambo versus Olympic wrestling. And we've seen a lot of chess yeah. playing tonight. Those knees hurt, man. Oosh. Right to the thigh or the. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, he's definitely going to be sore tomorrow. Yeah, Samoya is doing a good job of uh, taking the cage away from him. Cerquera mm. back up after Samayoa's attempt in. Samoya is just a bruiser with these strikes and this grappling, keeping the yeah. pressure on him. These two back at exchanging. Less than a minute to go here in round number one. Samayoa trying to... Ooh, that was a nice right hand by Samoya. Yeah. Trying to break the distance right there. Acerquera slips, goes down, and Samayoa with a good opportunity here with 30 seconds left. Scare doing a good job of avoiding most damage. Using his length well. Cerquera, lifting his legs, trying to protect himself and perhaps try for a submission. Yeah, it's tough when these guys have long torsos. Good job passing the legs. Some more damage there at the, the end. Big knee right to the solar plexus. That one hurt. Yeah. Great round for Samoya. It'd be interesting to see what uh, Sakara's corners say what they advise how they approach the second round, if they can make any necessary adjustments. Yeah, that was an interesting first, first round. Both guys very loyal to their strategy. Mutual respect. Let's see if that changes much. Yeah, and I'm not sure if you ever wrestled, but I think it's the most exhausting of all the martial arts, so that was an intense first round for both men. Unofficially, yes, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Does uh, an after-school match, a wrestling match, count as wrestling? Sure. Okay, yeah. 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 In that case, many, many times <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> All righty, so Samayoa and Cerquera getting ready to go. Both with Lux experience. They know what it is to be worldwide in UFC Fight Pass. Let's go. Man, I'm trying very hard not to laugh because the jokes behind us are just, <laughs> man, they're, they're good. They're good. And obviously because we're witnessing a pretty good encounter here, a pretty good matchup between Samayoa and Cerquera. Samayoa swinging and missing right there. Good push kick right there from Cerquera. Samayoa yes. replies, no go. Cerquera looks like he has the striking advantage, but that doesn't mean much oh. if uh, Samayoa gets a hold of him again. Yeah. A 
Alejandro Cerquera from Tolima, Colombia. He moved all the way to Chihuahua, Mexico, trying to get an opportunity to train and eventually fight. This is his third fight at Lox Fight League. Oh, Samayoa. Playing hard to get right there, encountering with some big shots. Yeah, good volume. Ooh, that body kick might have hurt. Samayoa, born and raised in Mexico City. He's two and two inside the black and gold cage. Yes, Samamoy is light on his feet, but I don't think it translates to too much power. Never planted when, he, when he's punching or striking. And after seeing so much action so far tonight, the fans don't just want a chess match. <laughs> they want blood. Yeah. There's Sarkera right there nice with the leg kick. kick. It's a good idea by Sarkera because Samamoy is using his footwork often to slow him down, keep chopping those legs, timing his steps. He also doesn't want to get taken down off that too, so big factor there. And Samayoa swinging and missing again. Interesting, first round was all uh, grappling. Yeah. I bet we'll see a shot coming out here soon, in the last couple minutes. Yeah, Samayoa, an Olympic wrestler, but at the same time, he told us that he's very confident in his kickboxing. Obviously, a disadvantage being a bit shorter than his opponent. Sometimes. Yep. I actually prefer fighting taller guys. Really? Yeah. Well, Samayoa is, is working well, trying to close the distance and try to come inside. And Cerquera's got a mouse right under his right eye. Oh, that would hurt. <laughs> and good answer from Cerquera. 90 seconds left in round number two. Samayoa grabs the leg and follows with a one-two. Interesting he didn't go for the takedown off that. He's content to keep it on the feet. Having some good success with his right hand. Yes, Kara looks a little, like a, he's always a half step behind. Samayoa missing there with the overhand left. Ooh, tries the overhand right now and then a leg kick or a kick to the midsection. We have 30 seconds left. Yeah, once again we have a southpaw versus orthodox. That right hand from the orthodox fighter has been landing heavy. Last 10 seconds of round number two. Ooh. Oh, he we got clipped him. right there. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, look too phased by it, though. All righty, so time for round number three. I think these Man. two guys need to step it up. Yeah. Probably give the edge to Senamoya in that round. Might have it 2 0 going in the third in his favor. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one to score here. Yeah. So both of these guys are obligated to come down strong and, and get a win. The, that respect has to go.
Oh, that was a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Cerquera coming all the way from Tolima, Colombia, facing Isaac Samayoa from Mexico City. Both guys with experience inside the black and gold cage. And here we go, time for round number three and a lot of pressure. Crowd is hungry for some uh, for some blood. Yes, 100%. I think they've been spoiled with so many good fights, Absolutely. so many barn burners, and they want to see another one. And that's a good start from both fighters. Mm. They're yet to unleash the power, and we know they have it. That's why they're here. A lot of respect for each other's power. Oh, grabbing the leg there, Samayoa. Ooh. Countering with a one-two. Another big combination. We finally start seeing what Samayoa is about. Yeah, look for one of them to go for a takedown if they get hit hard again. Yeah. And now Cerquera seems to be in trouble. Nice, great. Yeah, it's a huge lane down the middle. Oh, he grabbed Good the counter. leg and countered well. Good counter. Ooh. There's the shot. This is a big moment. Yeah, Cerquera unable to do anything. Oh, man, that's a, that's a power move right there. Yeah. He's, my, if he has his hands locked, it's going to be tough to get out of. And he gets his hands locked. Yeah, Ancient desperate attempt hook. for Cerquera after his stand-up has no work in the third round. Should have this. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, good wow. sprawl from Samayoa. Good job keeping it on your feet. Now Cerquera is going to try to use some dirty wrestling lane. right here. Oh, that was not the right move there. Right, worked completely against him. And a good opportunity here yeah. from Samayoa. Big oh, knee man. right there. Another punch right to the side of the face. Yeah, this is this is demoralizing for Sakari. He's wasted a lot of energy there, and now he's back in a bad position. Yeah, props to Zamayoa making adjustments before it was too late. Yeah. So far dominating the third round. But then again, if you go to decision, who knows? We've seen very bizarre things. <laughs> That's true. And I'm sure throughout your career you've seen and experienced many. Oh yeah. From what you've seen so far in the fight, is there anything Cerquera can do to shift the momentum? Man, I'm not too sure. Like I said, it looks like he's a half step behind in the striking. He's getting out grappled too, so this is, this is not a good, the best matchup for him. He's just getting edged out everywhere, it looks like. Oh, big oh, combination for Zion. Yo, that hurt, and another one too. Nice check hook. Heard that. Oh, good body work. Oh, he hurt him. We heard him in the body. Wow. And Samayoa, then again, there's a huge lane Samayoa. open right there. I think he's uh, he's hurt. He's <laughs> built some time. Some desperate moves right there from Cerquera. Samayoa just taking advantage of his opponent and teeing off. Working the body. Oh. And the crowd. Shouting for El Guero, the blonde one. Oh, good shot right there, finally, from Cerquera. He's gonna have to step it up in the last minute of the fight. Yeah, Cerquera's gonna need to pull a little bit of a Hail Mary here. He's, he's losing this fight, in my opinion. about 30 seconds to go in round number three. A fight that Samayoa got hold of in this third round, but then again, the first two were very close.
Okay. Oh, so right nice at the end, he's still stepping it up. But Samayoa got the best out of his opponent in round number three. We still have to see how the first two were scored. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. Nice show of nice show of respect, respect there. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to become friends with people you fight. <laughs> Big shots by Samoa here. Yeah, that was a good third round. Unfortunately, the first two left left the fans and the crowd just wanting more and expecting more yeah first round was fun with the grappling but uh people don't maybe understand what's sure. happening the whole time yeah it was a chess match in the beginning now on to the fun part getting the final results yes the official decision in the voice of Felipe de Maria. All right, both guys are ready. And Felipe is standing by for the official decision. Señoras y señores, después de tres asaltos, nos vamos a las tarjetas de los jueces. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone the distance. And after three rounds, we go to the scorecards for a decision. All judges score the fight. 30-27 to declare the winner by unanimous decision to Isaac El Güero Samayo. Judges got it right there for sure. Yeah.